Get ready! You're tuned in to Tea Time Unfiltered with your girl, Lovely T, bringing you the hottest trending topics on social media. Stay connected. Instagram.com slash Lovely Tea 2002. Hey, you guys. Welcome to another episode of Tea Time Unfiltered with your girl, Lovely T. Yay! Hey, Tea Sippers. I hope you guys are doing good today. So I am back with another podcast. So today I wanted to talk about a lot of stuff, honey. Mm. Folks are finding out that fat meat is greasy. Okay, so first and foremost, I remember about hmm, seven weeks ago, I took to Instagram and I was telling folks, y'all need to chill out. Okay, because the streets is talking. We're watching what's going on in these streets. I don't care if you're in Minneapolis, Chicago, Atlanta, New York, Cali. And I was noticing a lot of people, you know, just flossing their wealth on social media, in the hood, bragging, wearing, you know, Gucci down, Versace down, you know, just drip down, people buying brand new cars and all types of stuff. And so me, I'm like, well, how is everybody getting all this extra money? And then I start hearing about these loans that folks are taking out. And there's two different type of loans that people are taking out currently. One is the PPP loan. And then the other is the EIDL loan. Both of these loans, if not filled out properly, you are committing fraud. So seven weeks ago, I had took to Instagram and I was telling people this. And I also talked about it on my YouTube live stream. And I said, I'm not judging nobody because I understand folks are struggling right now. We're all going through it. We're trying to find ways to, you know, stay afloat, you know, bring in like income resources. I get that. But you have to be smart about it. So I had posted this meme and it says when that unemployment fraud hits y'all and has this young man here crying, you know, what I'm saying tattoo tears. And basically, um, I had said, uh, On that said, honey, I've been hearing all sorts of tea. They're now sending out paperwork notices. Y'all better chill. And I remember folks were coming on there going off on me. Oh, you hating? The government takes from us. It doesn't matter. We're just doing them how they do us. And so I ended up making a post on the Instagram page. And I said, I'm blocking every scammer talking shit in my comments. Take that deviant, thieving ass energy elsewhere. The fact that y'all are mad and going off about not being able to steal other people's identities and doing fraudulent shit because the government does it is disturbing. I hope people recognize y'all and social distance from your toxic thieving energy. I wrote that seven weeks ago. So I have my girl on the not, on the line, Jane. So she's calling in. She's going to be my podcast partner today. And she was here when all this went down. And me and her have been talking about this on the back end. So if you want to come on in and introduce yourself, sis. Hey, everybody. Um, as she said, my name is Janae. And I do appreciate you having me on to have this conversation. Because, yeah, we've been talking about this for a while. And chickens have definitely come home to roost. Right. And I don't understand, like, this whole mentality of people thinking that this is just free money. I think that's the most disturbing part. Yeah, I agree. Mm -hmm. I agree. Like, I too, like, you, we were sitting back. I think we both were talking, like, where are people getting all this money from? And I was hearing people talking about, oh, you can apply for this. And I was absolutely hesitant. And then you would see people on Instagram, we can apply for you. When, When you go to the website, you can input your own information in. You don't need a third party to help you out. You know, right. so that to me was a red flag. And then, like you said, you know, along with unemployment and all these other things, people would scan and stuff. I'm like, people never learn. <laughs> it's like, I, I was, I'm, I'm too scared to play games with the federal government like that. I just, right. it's just not right. It's just taken away from other people. Right. And that's the problem. So One of the scams that a lot of people were doing was if you weren't smart enough to fill it out yourself, then people would come and be like, hey, I'll fill it out for you. I've gotten 10 people approved. I can get you approved within a week. And you just need to give me out of the $10,000, give me $2,000. So you had a lot of people who were Mm -hmm. hustling that way. They were getting a cut off the top. You keep eight, they keep two, then they go on to the next person. Um, So what it was is people were basically... These loans were set in place for people who were wanting to start small businesses. 
So let's say you wanted to, you know, open up a clothing store or, you know, a hair salon. You could apply for this. But the problem is a lot of the people who were applying for these loans, they had no intentions of starting a business. They just wanted some quick money mm -hmm. to go do them, to go floss, go on vacation, things like that. Then the other loans. Um, the IDL, the, I yep. think. So you got the PPP, which is the Paycheck, Paycheck Protection Program. Mm -hmm. And then you got the EIDL. I believe that's the right acronym. Right. Now, that loan was for people who already had businesses established. Exactly. But they were supposed to be for small business owners. So, like the mom and pop shops, mom and pop laundromat. Mm -hmm. But what ended up happening is you had one section where corporate greed, so like major restaurant chains like um, Chili's and, and other restaurant chains were applying for these loans and getting millions of dollars and they're a national chain. Then it also came out that you right. had millionaire YouTubers, okay? Mr. Beast and I Jeffree Star. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's also not been noted pro, um, per ProRepublica's database that... Um, Jeffree Star and Mr. Beast, they got anywhere from one to two million dollars in loans. Um, FaZe Clan, which is one of the richest esports cliques, um, they also received a loan worth one to two million dollars. And the thing that's really disturbing about this is all of these people, Mr. Beast, Jeffree Star, they have millions of followers on social media, especially on YouTube. All their videos are monetized, mm -hmm. they get paid um, handsomely. And they all brag about a lavish lifestyle. Jeffree Star just bought an $18 million home not even a year ago. He has bags exactly. worth more th than some people's rent for a year. And you mean to tell me people well, like this? That closet. Exactly, that big ass <laughs> closet with them bags and shoes and everything else. And you mean to tell me he's mm -hmm. some type of small business owner? I will actually you are giving me breaking news because I didn't even know. I mean, we had heard of the news that there were these like Shake Shack and all of these other, you know, not small mom and pops or small farmers or agriculture businesses or a small manufacturing or non for profit organization that really took a hit because they had to close down. These were people who had means to continue and retain and keep it going for them to, and you know and who didn't really close and who had alternatives who applied for the loan and didn't you know and got it and then flawed and then some of them did have to give it back i remember shake shack being one of them mm -hmm. so i was i'm actually shocked these names that you drop in yeah. now me personally as a small business owner to be quite honest to your audience I applied. They denied me. Mm. You know why they denied me? Why? Because they were like, you didn't produce enough information. Well, I produced my tax return from the previous year. Um, as I was a freelancer, then I established an LLC. So I didn't apply for the LLC. I actually called to make sure I was doing the right thing because I didn't want to get caught up. I said, so should I apply as a freelancer? Or should I apply as the LLC? Because for 2019, 2020, I was a freelancer. And I was told, yeah, you apply as a freelancer. And I said, okay, I did the right thing. And they still denied me. But now you're telling me you have people like Jeffree Star getting a million? Mm -hmm. that, that's the type of thing that frustrates me. Because there are so many people out here who are really desperate, yep. who are really in need, and are not getting it. Exactly. Yeah. And, and and another thing, nothing. right, and another thing with the Jeffree Star situation before people say, oh, well, he lost his Morphe deal and it's been a rough year because of Tati. He applied for this back in March, okay? Right as COVID was when hitting. First hit. Yeah, he was already mm -hmm. applying for this. He didn't get dropped from Morphe until, like, I want to say July. So he went in hustling and trying to get some money, okay? And then on top of um that, I can't even be mad at these YouTubers. I'm salty with them because they've weighed, they've made way more money than most people have ever on YouTube. They're all certified millionaires, mm -hmm. and they still ran to apply for this. But on top of them doing this, Kanye West, he was approved. 
He's ain't he yes, a billionaire? I forgot about that. With a clothing right. line? Yeah. Yeezys. Mm -hmm. Um, Chloe Kardashian. She also applied and got approved. Okay? So you have a lot of people who are millionaires being approved for this so-called small business loan. None of these people run small businesses. They literally run giant mm -hmm. corporations. So to me, I look at mm -hmm. that as um uh, influencer bailout, just like the corporate bailout of a few years ago, you know, and the real and the people who exactly. suffer are the mom and pop shops or the small business owners like okay. you and myself and others. And I remember people were telling me when it first hit, like, you know, T, you can apply for this. You know, you have your skincare line and, you know, your tea line and everything has slowed down. Like I couldn't go to any of the like the road shows, the convention centers mm -hmm. to, you know, to help sell my stuff and bring awareness to my product. So my sales slowed down, but, you know, people still supported and bought. But I said to myself, I don't want no handout, period, because I've exactly. always saved for a rainy day. You know what I'm saying? So it was like, no, nah, I don't I don't, mm -hmm. it, you know, it'd be nice. But all money ain't good money. I still have some stuff tucked aside. Let the people who really need it, let them apply. So I didn't apply. You know, that's, you know, and you, it, you make a good point because in, and, and this is, maybe demographic, social, economic think. You know, we as women of color, you know, a lot of times in our communities, we're taught, you know, you're supposed to work harder, you know, bootstrap, you know, mentality, work hard, save, do all these different things. That's even if we're taught financial literacy, okay? Mm -hmm. Don't take no handouts. Meanwhile, you got, you know, Mary Trump in her book, saying that the Trump took money whenever don't she said something about when somebody gives you money you take it or something to that effect I may I may be rephrasing it and it's that whole way of thinking like if it's available you take it so the Jeffy stars and the so forth and so on while me and you sat here and we took our time I waited months before I even considered applying and you said no yeah. You know, so, you know, look how long we, we kind of had that battle in our head. And eventually it's like you see all these other people who really didn't need it taking advantage of it. Mm -hmm. Even government officials. There were White House officials who were doing the PPE, the, you know, protection equipment scam with the mask and the stuff. Mm -hmm. which and the ventilators. The process of stuff coming into the United States. Mm -hmm. I know that firsthand as an importer and exporter, that they were slowing things up just so they can, you know, hoard it. They were snatching stuff off of Tarmax and holding it and reselling it at 10 and 20 times the market value. What's up? Hey, tea sippers to listen to the rest of this podcast, please go to Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Google Play, Stitcher, Tuned In, or AnchorFM.com, which is a free podcasting site. Thank you guys so much for the support, and stay tuned for the next video.